Hi, this is Jeff with the Halcyon Masters. Before we get into today's video, I've got some exciting news to share. The Halcyon Masters are partnering with Gangstars to bring you even better videos on Vainglory, the lore behind our favorite heroes, and some exciting future projects. I'll talk more about this at the end of the video, along with an update about our guild, Unknown Cipher. Now, for the reason that you're all here, the story behind Adagio and Idris. Adagio, based on the lore, is one of the more powerful beings in the Vainglory world. Immortal compared to human standards, he has watched the rise and fall of many civilizations. The world as Adagio sees it cycles through death and rebirth. Death is fueled by the churn, while the energy of the Halcyon breeds new life. To control the cycle of annihilation and rebirth, Adagio himself oversaw the building of a fabled well. His ancestors and the Elder Dragons believed that by controlling the flow of energy, the world could be saved from destruction. Adagio placed the fabled well in a desert location far from any population. As if drawn by its power, the location did not stay secret for long, and a civilization grew with the well at its center. The desert people learned to heat the pink, blue, and white crystal sand into glass. This glass was so strong that they built a beautiful city which received the attention from Adagio himself. The city flourished for generations until from the same well that provided all of its wealth now streamed the noxious churn and horrid monsters known as Churn Beast. Night after night, waves of these Churn Beasts attacked the city and its people. The most fortunate escaped to set up camp in the desert, the less fortunate perished in the attacks. But a third and most unfortunate group remained in the city and were swallowed by the churn itself. For whatever the churn does not kill, it swallows. A not-so-happy Adagio flew to the outskirts of the city and lamented its destruction. He had high hopes for its people, but instead they gave him disappointment. One of the city's refugees, Idris, a skilled warrior with a spear in Chakram, looked towards the city and he sees Adagio floating on top one of the shimmering dunes. He closed his eyes and willed himself there. In a blink, Idris appears aside Adagio, who is actually startled for once. Idris speaks first to Adagio, inviting him to his fire if the purpose for his visit is to help them win back the city. Adagio laughs and tells him that's the cycle of all things to rise and fall, and it is not the first time the churn has destroyed a civilization so close to understanding. Adagio continued to say that other civilizations had held the churn back with technology, and he even tasked two talented engineers to write a book so that future civilizations could get a head start. I shall retrieve it, exclaimed Idris. Thank you for your advice, Jim. I gave no. But before Adagio could finish his statement, Idris crumbled into the sand and was gone. Adagio thought to himself, once an eon or so, a mortal cast an interesting shadow. Idris appeared inside the glass city, coughing as the churn burned his lungs and eyes. Remembering Adagio's words, that whatever the churn does not kill, it swallows. Idris stopped fighting and let the toxic fumes into his lungs and he opened his eyes. He could feel the power of the churn flow into his body and calling for him to evolve. He made his way to the library where he saw the inscriptions, Good cannot be brought forth, nor evil avoided except by knowledge. Idris had arrived at the House of Insight. In the room, Idris found technology like he had never seen before. He found a helmet, and its holographic visor came to life when he put it on. In the reflection, he could see that his eyes now glowed green from the churn. Behind him, a technological beast slithered into sight. Its body was that of a mechanical serpent, and its head was the two sisters that Adagio had once tasked with writing the book that Idris now seeks. Adagio sent a man to take our work, said the one of the sisters, who quickly glanced at a single book protected under a glass case. Idris asked for the book, but the sisters, filled with greed, refused to give it to him, and then they attacked. Idris fought back, filled with his newly found power of the churn. In epic fashion, Idris defeated the sisters using his spear and chakram. With the book in hand, Idris paused for a moment as the churn called to him from the fabled well. Its song tempted him to stay in the city and join its ranks. Idris shook his head furiously and focused on Adagio as his anchor. In the same way that he blinked into the city, Idris returned to the outskirts right at Adagio's feet. Adagio, looking down at Idris, inquired, Has it turned you? I am myself, whispered Idris, and the book fell from his grasp. Adagio just sighed because he found it annoying to deal with humans. With a simple turn of his wrist, his gift of fire emerged from his hand. 
While Adagio's gift will revive Idris, it will not remove the churn from his body, and the churn will always call out to him. Idris looked up at Adagio and pointed to the book. I have this now. We can win. Adagio laughed and said, Oh dear, no. You need to take the book to the people that can build the machines. For that, you must travel to the other side of the world for the technologist. Idris realized there was no hope for his people without help from the rest of the world. With that, Adagio picked the warrior up in his arms, spread his wings, and took flight to the Halcyon Fold. That is the story of how Adagio and Idris found their way to the Halcyon Fold. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Heroic Ties, and if you enjoyed the video, take an extra second to press the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Halcyon Masters are partnering with Gangstars, and more specifically, the Getting Stuff Done community. This is an exciting time for Vainglory because a huge number of creators are coming together to bring you high quality content. Partners include VG Miner, Shatter the Vein, Gangstars Academy, Alternating Current, Broken Myth, just to name a few. You can check out the link in the description below for the official announcement and some links to these other guys. I also mentioned that our guild, Unknown Cipher, or UKC, is openly recruiting. If you're an active player on the NA server with a rank of hotness or above, message Roxy is small or Juggernaut76 in game. Our guild strikes a great balance between sociable and active players. Well, thanks again for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the Halcyon Fold.